billion. Going to take you live now to the Treasurer, Josh Frydenberg, speaking in his electorate of Kuyong. Let's have a listen in. High taxes on income earners, high taxes on family business, high taxes on your home, and high taxes on your electricity bill. Now, just last week, Bill Shorten was asked at a press conference about his plan to increase taxes on superannuation. And he looked down the camera and he lied. He said the Labor Party wasn't increasing taxes on superannuation. And he was forced to retract that when it was revealed that he's got $34 billion in higher taxes on superannuation. And just yesterday, in Queensland, Bill Shorten was confronted by a worker who asked him what the Labor Party was doing to cut taxes for people who work overtime, who work nights, who are earning up to $250,000. And Bill Shorten said, we'll take a look at it. Well, Bill Shorten doesn't need to take a look at it because what he has is a $6.5 billion increase to the top rate of tax, the marginal rate going up to 49% under the Labor Party. See, Bill Shorten has so many higher taxes that he's lost count. So many new taxes that he's lost count. So there are three questions today for Bill Shorten. Firstly, when he was speaking to that worker in Queensland, did he lie or did he forget that Labor is increasing their tax by increasing the marginal rate to 49% for those workers? The second question for Bill Shorten is will he apologise for Chris Bowen associating retirees with cane toads? Another sign of Labor's arrogance and hubris and another Labor insult to the more than one million retirees who are going to hit, be hit by Labor's retirees tax. And the third question for Bill Shorten today is when will he release the detail about the true cost to the economy of his 45 per cent reckless emissions reduction target? All these questions need to be answered for the Australian people because Australian businesses, Australian families, Australian income earners, Australian workers deserve to know the truth about Labor's $387 billion in higher taxes. Are there any questions? Yes, yes we have, and we're debating at the press club. I think it's the 6th of May, uh, and I look forward to it. Well, Labor's target is irresponsible and they have an obligation to tell Australian businesses, the 250 of them that will be hit by their 45 per cent target and their changes to the safeguards mechanism and across businesses right across the economy, small businesses, big businesses will also be hit. But their 45 per cent emissions reduction target will see a billion, billions of dollars in post in higher energy bills on these companies, companies that will be forced uh, you know, to, to uh, buy these permits, uh, companies uh, that will see their energy bill go up because of the Labor Party's reckless target. You see, Bill Shorten has had six years to prepare for this moment. I don't know what he's been doing. He's got a 45 per cent target that he can't explain and that he wants to hide. It's time he came clean with the Australian people and told them the true cost of his policies. was based on the costs in uh, Brian Fisher's modelling uh, and it showed that the, the, the carbon permits was ranging between $32 and, and $60 uh, and these are the costs um, that have uh, shown that the Labor Party and their recklessly high targets will impact on these companies. These are Australian companies uh, that are in the mining industry. These are Australian companies that are in the oil and gas industry. These are Australian companies uh, that are in the food manufacturing industry. These are Australian companies in the transport industry. They need to know how Labor Party is going to hurt them economically. But today, 
Chris Bolt and, and uh, Mark Butler uh, was out there in the media and he wasn't disputing these figures, but he wouldn't explain his own policy. You see, the Labor Party have created this problem for themselves because they have failed to provide the Australian people and Australian businesses with the details about their electricity tax, the details around their 45 per cent emissions reduction target. And until they provide those details and those costs, all these questions are going to be there for them to answer, questions that Bill Shorten is dodging and weaving. Are you, for, are you um, planning on further income tax cuts in the next term? Well, we've made very clear uh, the significant tax cuts that we will provide, be providing in this budget was $158 billion of tax cuts. Uh, in the last budget, it was $144 billion of tax cuts. And these tax cuts are focusing on low and middle income earners. The average full-time earner will be over $1,000 a year better off under our policy than they will be under the Labor Party's policy. You see, Bill Shorten has sold out the blue-collar workers of Australia. Those are the workers that confronted him yesterday in Queensland and said, Bill Shorten, what are you doing for us? And he was too afraid too cowardly to tell them that he's increasing their taxes. Did Bill Shorten lie or did Bill Shorten simply forget just yet again about his higher taxes? He's got so many higher taxes that he's lost count. Do you have further income tax cuts planned? We've said to the Australian people, our tax policy is out there. It's fully costed, it's fully funded. Bill Shorten uh, has only higher taxes. Higher taxes on retirees. Retirees that today Chris Bowen, the Shadow Treasurer, is disgracefully associating with being cane toads. I mean, this is Chris Bowen who said to, the, to these retirees, if you don't like our policies, well, don't vote for us. This is Chris Bowen who has so much hubris and arrogance that he's dismissing the real concerns of over one million Australian retirees who are going to be hit by Labor's retirees tax.